Hello there, my name's Card. I'm a long-time progressive community organiser and activist, and today I just want to briefly talk about a relatively obscure reactionary dog whistle that's been around for a few years now, as well as what it really means and who's using it. For those who don't know, in politics a dog whistle is a word, a phrase or a symbol which may seem perfectly innocent and innocuous to most people, but which really communicates a more sinister hidden message to those in the know. There'll also be a playlist of videos of mine, linked at the top of the description, which goes into detail about all sorts of reactionary dog whistles and how to spot them. Today, specifically, I wanted to talk about windmills and how they've become a contemporary reactionary symbol and signal, particularly in online spaces. To put it simply, online reactionaries know that overt anti-Semitism and neo-Nazism is likely to get noticed by normal people online then they'd likely be blocked and banned from most platforms. So, to subvert a lot of automatic content filters and the like, as well as to give themselves a little bit of plausible deniability if they ever get called out, a lot of online anti-Semites and neo-Nazis substitute pictures of windmills for swastikas and the flag of Nazi Germany. It's based off of the fact that there's a little bit of resemblance between the two but it's an old image board meme from decades ago now to refer to the Nazi flag as the windmill flag and use a lot of similarly sanitised language in regards to fascist iconography. It's not that subtle once you know what it means, but it's just one of the many common ways that online reactionaries will modify what they post on the internet to avoid detection. So, if you ever see people online referencing windmills or apropos of nothing, now you know why. Even though it's not really the most subtle dog whistle out there, if you yourself aren't anti-Semitic or hadn't heard of this particular dog whistle before, you still might not have otherwise connected the, connected the dots here on your own. As with any dog whistle or piece of obtuse reactionary internet iconography, it does help to be able to spot these sorts of things so you can suss out the situation properly and know whether or not someone might be trying to sneak a secret anti-Semitic remark in here or there. And you can only figure a situation out properly if you're able to spot these terms and bits of iconography and know what they mean. So, for the sake of keeping your online spaces free of potential troublemakers and people with less than good intentions, it never hurts to be able to recognise these sorts of things. That's all I have to say today. I hope it helps. Once again, my name's Card. If you might want to hear more from me, especially more about emerging or obscure reactionary dog whistles and how to spot them, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube page, or just take a look at my other videos. Either way, goodbye for now, and stay safe out there.